We invite you to join us in our prayers today. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions for the needs and intentions of the Greenbelt Chapel community, for all of us here present and the members of our families, and also for those who have asked for our prayers. Let us continue praying for all the victims of war, violence, and natural calamities. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, O Lord, will open my lips. And my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline unto my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us now meditate on the five glorious mysteries. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his good health, safety, and protection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Let us offer this mystery for the needs and intentions of the church and the world, for wisdom and guidance for all church and government leaders, for their good governance and true conversion. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. 
Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Let us offer this mystery for the complete healing and recovery of all who are sick and for those who care for them, that they may find comfort and protection in their time of need. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Let us offer this mystery for all our personal needs and intentions, in the needs and intentions of all the members of our families, relatives, loved ones, and friends, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, especially the intentions offered by the Greenbelt Chapel community. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. Let us offer this mystery for all the souls in purgatory, especially the souls of our beloved dead relatives and friends, and those who died with no one to pray for them. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. 
and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Mother Mary, we beg you, please bring peace to our families, to our country, and to the whole world. Amen. Amen. Together, hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate and obtain what they promise through the, the same, same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thine intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Amen. O Saint Joseph, foster father of Jesus, most pure spouse of the Virgin Mary, pray for us daily to the same Jesus, the Son of God, that we, being defended by the power of his grace and striving faithfully in life, may be crowned by him at the hour of death. Amen. Amen. Divine Child Jesus, Santo Nino de Paz, bless and protect us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Padre Pio of Pietralcina, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Let us all please stand for the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. And may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters.
Good evening, brothers and sisters. In order to preserve the solemnity of our celebration, let us please turn off our cell phones or put them on silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. The book of our chaplain, Father Dave, entitled It's All About Relationships, will be launched here in the Greenbelt Chapel on September 24 during the 6 p.m. Masses. For those who would like to order the book, please approach the chapel office. Everyone is invited to join the Tuesday Praise and Worship with the Emmanuel Catholic Charismatic Community after the 6 p.m. Mass with music, prayer, and thanksgiving. Let us celebrate our faith and find hope in the Lord. You are invited to our liturgical Bible study with Father Francis Gustilo, SDB, every Wednesday after the 6 p.m. Mass. The Couples for Christ Family Ministry of the Handmaids of the Lord is inviting all ladies to join its upcoming Christian Life Program Orientation on Saturday, September 30, 2023 at 4 p.m. via Zoom. Those interested, you may visit the chapel office or check with their team leader, Sister Miles D. Cruz, supervising unit head, Sister Lerma Gonzalez, and chapter head, Maya Trinidad, or contact them on their numbers 0915-259-7791 or 0949-621-0841. September 23 is the Feast of St. Padre Pio of Pietrelcina, our secondary patron. 
we will have the following activities. Novena Masses from September 14 to 22 at 6 in the evening. Fiesta Masses on September 23 at 12.15 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. with our chaplain, Father Dave Concepcion, and 6 p.m. Mass with the Most Reverend Ruperto Santos, D.D. Bishop of Antipolo. For more information, you may visit the Facebook page of the chapel, Greenville Chapel, Santo Nino de Paz. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is September 10, 2023, and we celebrate the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is our chaplain, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. Please stand and let us join in singing our entrance hymn. Let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. With joy to the rock who saves us, let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Spirit 
Pedro, salva a minha alma. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You, son of man, I have appointed watchmen, for the house of Israel. When you hear me say anything, you shall warn them for me. If I tell the wicked, O wicked one, you shall surely die, and you do not speak out to dissuade the wicked from his way, the wicked shall die for his guilt. But, I will hold you responsible for his death. But if you warn the wicked, trying to turn him from his way, and he refuses to turn from his way, he shall die for his guilt. But you shall save yourself. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us. For he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal. You shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor. Hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 
altogether, God was reconciling the world to Himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won over your brother. If he does not listen, take one or two others along with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Many times the question have been asked, Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's keeper? And the answer to that question is in the first reading today. The answer is yes. You are your brother's keeper. The first reading reminds us that we are to dissuade our brothers and sisters, telling them to correct what is wrong in their lives. Tell them to correct what is wrong in their lives. Dissuade them. Pag sinabing dissuade, ipaalala. In a stricter term, warn them. Warn. Hindi lang yung sinasabi mo, kundi bigyan sila ng babala. Bakit may babala? Because if they will not change, it will lead them to death. Not just of terminal death, but we talk about the final judgment. In plain, simple words, it will bring them to hell. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, I want you to understand this. Dissuade. To dissuade is not to nag. To dissuade is not to run. Pagka minsan, nakakainis kapag tayo tinatama, Kasi yung nagtatama sa atin, nagnanag, di ba? Paulit-ulit, hindi nakikinig. Kaya, ayaw na ng pakinggan. Simply lang, you tell the person what is wrong, ano sabi sa ibang mga pagbasa, kung ayaw niyang magbago, hindi mo problema yon. Because if he dies because of his sin, you will be saved. But if he dies for you not correcting your brother, including your sister, you will be held accountable. You will be held accountable. To tell them, 
to tell them. And, ano yung dapat hindi gawin? You never gossip about the wrongs of your brothers and sisters. Tayo ayaw nating sabihin. Ayaw nating sabihin kung ano ang kanilang pagkakamali. Kasi mas masarap pag chismisan sila. Hindi po ba? Ano? Pag chismisan sila. Kahit yung mga pari. Sabi ng isang pari, ako umaten talaga ako ng retreat. Umaten talaga ako ng recollection. Kasi pag absent ka, ikaw ang pinag-uusapan. Di ba? Ganun talaga eh. Kaya hindi umabsent. Hindi dahil gusto mo talagang umaten, takot kang ikaw ang pag-usapan. Hindi po ba? Ano? Sabi nga nila, sana pag ikaw ay nawala, namimiss ka ng ibang tao. Pag ikaw ba ay nawala, namimiss ka ng ibang tao? Minsan kang umabsent. Sabi, oo oh, nga, namimiss natin siya. Ano? Pag wala siya, saya-saya natin. Di ba? Hindi yung dahil malungkot siya na wala ka. Masaya pala sila pag wala ka. Never gossip about the wrongs of your neighbor. Second, hindi lang yung pinagchichismisan, yung iba, pinaparinggan. Hindi nakakatulong yun. Instead na sabihin mo ng diretso, huwag mong pariringgan. Diretsoin mo. Kasi mas masakit yun eh, hindi po ba? No? Mas masakit yun. Ha? May pinagalitan ako minsan kasi nakita ko yung babae, may tagus. May tagus. Hindi niya alam na may tagus. Alam niyo ba ibig sabihin na may tagus? Hindi po ba? No? Kung hindi alam ni mister, sabihin mo ko na yun. May tagus. Ano po? Gasino nang sabihin sa kanyang meron pong tagus? Ano? Kailang... Kailangan bang pagchismisan? Kailangan bang kailangan bang paringgan, di po ba? Ha? Eh, may period ka. Di ba? Hindi mo lang diretso tagos. O di tapos, di po ba, na? Kasi tayo mga Pilipino, ay hindi tayo makadiretso. Pag may kausap kang may muta, hindi mo masabing may muta. Hipo ka ng hipo sa mata mo. Hari nawa, hipuin niya ang mata niya. Hindi po ba? Ano? Nagdugo na yung mata mo, may muta pa siya. Kasi hindi mo masabing may muta ka. Hindi po ba? Ano? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, sabi nga ng teacher sa kanyang mga estudyante, pag hindi nag-toothbrush ang kaklase mo, sabihin mo pati ini nga ng ngipin mo. At sabihin mo, alam ko ang ulam nyo kanina. Kasi nakasingit, hindi po ba? No? So, yung katabi niya, may amoy daw. Tapos sabi niya, ngiti ka nga. Ngumiti naman. Sabi, ay, alam ko ulam nyo kanina. Ano? Dinuguan. Ay, hindi. Ano ulam ninyo? Ha? Nilaga. Ha? Kailan kayo nag-ulam ang dinuguan? Kagabi. Ibig sabihin, kagabi pa hindi nagtutot brush, di ba ba? No? Diretsyon mo. Hindi ka nagtutot brush, no? Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, huwag pagchichismisan, huwag pariringgan, sabihin ng diretsyo. Di po ba, no? Alam naman natin sikip ang simbahan. Maliit lang kasi ang simbahang ito, ha? Hindi sabihin mo, pwede po bang umiso, umusog ng konti? Hindi po ba, ano? Sabihin nyo, pwede po bang umusog ng konti? Hindi yung sasabihin mo sa katabi mo, ang taba-taba kasi. Hindi ba? Sabihin mo lang umusog. Hindi po ba? Mga minamahal mga kapatid. At pangatlo, huwag pagchichismisan, huwag pariringgan, diretso yung masabihin, sapagkat, hindi natin tungkulin na baguhin ang ating kapwa. Inuulit ko, hindi natin tungkulin na baguhin ang ating kapwa. Sapagkat ang pagbabago ay kusang loob. Hello, pakinggan niyo akong mabuti. 
ang pagbabago ay kusang loob. Ano ibig sabihin? Even God was unable to change the heart of Judas. Take note. Even God was unable to change the heart of Judas. Why? Because change is a personal choice. The only obligation that being asked from us from the first reading is to correct our brothers and sisters. What is the second reading trying to tell us? Do it with love. Do it with love. Because if people feel that you are saying it out of concern, they will listen to you. Mahirap magbago kapag ang nagpaparinig sa iyo feeling self-righteous. Di po ba? Kaya yung iba, gumaganti. Ano sabi nila? Tingnan mo nga sarili mo. Di po ba? Ano? Do it out of love. My dear parents, when you correct your children, please do it out of love. Kasi ang reklamo ng maraming anak, Father, nagsisimula pa lang ako ng magkwento. Nakasinghal na ang nanay ko. O nga naman, di po ba, ano? Pakinggan niyo muna. Ma, may sasabihin ako ngayon. Ano na naman sasabihin mo? Di ba? Pambihira naman ang nanay na ito. Gusto mong magkwento ang anak mo, ikaw naman ang gugulat ka agad. Di ba, ano? I encourage the children to tell their parents, I love you. Di ba? Malaking bagay yun eh. Ma, I love you. Pa, I love you. Di ba? Ano? Malaking bagay yun. Pero, sinabihan ng anak, yung nanay niya, Ma, I love you. Sabi ka agad ng nanay, ano na mga kalokohan mga ginawa mo? Grabe. Kaya walang nagsasabing I love you na anak eh. Mga minamahal mga kapatid, do it out of love. As I have said before, you can never be wrong in doing things out of love. Kaya nga ang gospel, kung ayaw makinig, magsama ka to witness. Pag ayaw makinig, Isumbong mo sa simbahan. Di po ba, no? Para, bahala na ang Diyos sa Kanya. We are not here to judge our brothers and sisters. Again, we have to dissuade, to warn, to correct our brothers and sisters. Not to gossip about it. Second, we have to do it out of love. If they fail to listen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because we have a righteous God. He is a God of justice. And at the end, justice will be pronounced. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, 
who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, today Jesus reminds us that where two or three gather in His name, He is in their midst. He also tells us that the prayer offered in His name will surely be granted by a Heavenly Father. Encouraged by this promise, we pray and every petition let the response be, In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. For all those who hold a position of authority in the church, that they may accomplish with charity and courage their task of warning the faithful against moral failings, let us pray. In the name Jesus, of Jesus, Father, hear us. For all our brothers and sisters who have been violating the law of the Lord, that they may heed his exhortations to conversion. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. For all those who are inclined to condemn others harshly, that they may not forget the primacy of Christian charity. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. For all grandparents, that God may grant them good health and the simple joys of experiencing the love and care of their children and grandchildren. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. For each of us, that we may learn to accept corrections with humility and correct others with charity. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, hear us. God, our loving Father, you taught us to be prophets to our brothers and sisters, especially those in need of correction. Grant us the self Lessness, humility, and courage that we need to fulfill this duty and thereby contribute to their salvation and share with them the happiness of your kingdom where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. and sisters that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage 
to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even passion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. For those who cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered here before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord.
Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Padre Pio, Petro, China, and all the saints of Lysia throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all unnecessary worries and distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Jesus Christ who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts. Peace in our mind. Peace in our own homes, in our own families. Peace in our workplace. Peace here in our community. Peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the way and the truth and the life. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive Him in Holy Communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For a solemn reception of communion, we will do it row by row. Please follow the guidance of our ushers. For those outside the chapel, extraordinary ministers of Holy Communion will be stationed near the bridges to distribute Holy Communion. Kindly form two lines before them. Also, please consume the host in front of the minister. Thank you.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrochina. Please all kneel. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. 
Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May I call couples celebrating their wedding anniversary for the month of September to come forward so we can pray for you. Yung pong nagdiriwang ng anibersaryo na kailang pag-isang dibdib sa buwan ng Septyembre, inaanyayahan po namin kayo dito sa harapan upang kayo'y aming may pagdasal. Dito po. Wala na. Meron pa. Pakihawakan po ang kamay para sigurado tayo. Yan. Ano po? Kayo na po humingi ng biyaya sa Diyos. Ano po? May I ask everyone to stretch forth your hands towards them and let us ask the Lord to bless them. Bless their union, bless their family. Ama namin mapagmahal, idinudulo po namin sa iyo ang mga mag-asawang ito na nagdiriwang o magdiriwang ng anibersaryo ng kanilang pag-isang dibdib. Kilala mo sila, Panginoon. Nasaksihan mo ang kanilang mga pagtawa at pagluha, kahinan at kalakasan, kabiguan at tagumpay. Maging ang kanilang mga pangarap ay batid mo, Panginoon. Idinudulog po namin ang mga mag-asawang ito, gayon din ang kalang pamilya, na wapo'y ingatan mo sila, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkaloban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung meron man sa kanilang may karamdaman, na wapo'y pagkaloban mo sila ng kagalingan. Gabayan mo sila sa lahat ng kanilang mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung meron man silang mga pinagdadaan ng problema o siliranin sa mga panahong ito, tuwangan mo sila, Panginoon, alisin mo po ang kanilang mga pagkatakot at pangamba, dagdagan mo po ang kanilang mga pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Panginoon, kung meron mang tampuhan, pagkagalit, sama ng loob, paghihinala, Dala ng pagkakamali yung pagkukulang na sino man sa nakalipas na panahon. Nawa po'y merong paghilom, merong pagpapatawad, merong paghingi ng tawad, may pagtalikot sa pagkakamali, may pagbabagong buhay, higit sa lahat, may panibagong katapatan at pagmamahal. Nawa po ang kanilang mga pamilya saan man naroon, ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Batid mo po ang kailang mga panalangin, kayo na po ang magrigalo, kung ano man ang makabubuti, makababanal, makasasaya, makaulad, makasasagana ng kailang relasyon, kayo na po ang magbigay. Sa tulong at panalay mga banal, lalong-lalo na ng mahal na biren, Ganyan din sa Nocenta, pat niyang esposo, at ang aming patron, Padre Pio na Petrochina. Pagpalain mo po ang mga mag-asawang ito, sa ngala ng Ama, at ang Anak, at ang Espiritu Santo. Oh, 
Husband may now kiss your wife. Ano ba yan? Naka-face mask. Alisin mo yan. Alisin mo. Yan. Grabe. Dati lips to lips. Ngayon, beso-beso na lang. May you have many more happy years to come. Happy anniversary. We can be charitable with our words, even in correcting our brothers and sisters. Hindi pa po kami, hindi pa po kami pare noon. Nakikinig kami ng recollection ni Bishop Bacani. Yung matanda sa harap namin, ang pangit ng buhok. Sorry for the word. Ano po? Tapos nakatis. Hindi namin makita mukha ni Bishop. So, nagkukwento kami, ano ba naman ito? Hindi siguro ito naligo, kung ano-ano na. Nadinig pala niya. Nung kami kakwentuhan na si Bishop Bacani, naku, lumapit siya. Lumapit siya. Sabi niya, Bishop, your boys are telling me that my hair is not beautiful. Ay, pangit talaga. <laughs> so, tinignan ko si Bishop kasi pag sinabi niya maganda, sasabihin ko talaga, sinungaling ka, Bishop. Ano po? But the good bishop said, Pangit? Di naman. Unique. Unique. Kaya pag kayo nagtanong kay bishop, Pangit ba? Pag sinabi niyang unique, Pangit yun. Maganda ba asawa ko? Unique. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, keep in mind, that we are only asked to dissuade, to correct the wrongs against the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments lang, ha? So, pag hindi nyo type ang kulay ng damit na nyong asawa, hindi yan kinukorek. Hindi yan kinukorek. Sabihin nyo kung anong mas maganda. Hindi po ba? It is not wrong to wear the color that you do not like. Ang kinokorek lamang ay kasalanan. Don't gossip. Huwag pariringgan. Higit sa lahat, gawin ito ng may pagmamahal. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go forth and teach that God is love. Go forth and teach we are sons and daughters. Go forth and teach that God is love. Go forth and teach we are brothers and sisters. You are called go forth and teach. the world.